Okay, I think the trailer's actually stuck on something. Yeah, there must be a log or something back there that we got stuck on, and now the trailer's stuck on. I mean, fair enough. All we gotta do is get over it. <laughs> Forming the duties of his office. Of Digby C. Caesar. Well, hey, everybody. Thanks for stopping by. I am Digby, and today we are back on Mudrunner. Now, the last time I played Mudrunner, we did the stupid challenge of trying to see if we could get around and do things with that little blue truck. And it was a lot of fun, and I kind of was thinking I might do it as a series, but I have a feeling that just watching me winch that thing out of mud bogs would probably get a little old fairly quickly. So instead, what we're going to do is we are going to pick a completely different map... I think last time we were down between the seashore and the island, so we'll take the island this time. And yeah, we're still going to do this with a two-wheel drive truck. However, we are going to go for one of these ones. The ones with the little red uh, exclamation point, because as you can see up at the top of the screen, it says, Not suited for off-roading. Now, I know there's one in here somewhere that is a one-star truck that's not suited for off-roading. And I think it might be in the Old Timers DLC. I mean, we could technically do it with that one. Whoop, sorry, I did not want to do that. I wanted to actually look at the truck. Yeah, that's also rear-wheel drive only, but it doesn't say that it's not suited. So we're going to go down to the old-timers. There it is. Okay, we have got a GMC DW950. It's a really old truck. It's on street tires, and it's only two-wheel drive. But it does have actual diff locks so we shouldn't need to winch quite so often now let's start on hardcore and see what we need to do okay we are at the garage now map where are we whoops okay we're at the garage here we've got a watch point over there okay i need to remember how to run this and we got a couple of log kiosks we got another watch point there garage down here fuel station another watch point there and then all we've got is another watch point over there. Okay, so we've only got one garage. And it's actually got one, two, three watch points on the way to it. So I am thinking... Whoops, I, I, was, I had a feeling I was going to do that. Okay, let's load up the garage... Uh, yeah, let's load up the garage semi-trailer. Actually, numbnuts, you need to get the trailer hitch to do that. So yeah, install the trailer hitch. Install the garage semi-trailer... Ooh, or do we actually want to do... Hold on, hold on. How much... Okay, garage trailer has two garage points. And the garage cart... The garage parts... Okay, that has two. So we could actually do the parts and the trailer as opposed to just doing the semi-trailer. You know what? That actually sounds like it might be more fun. So let me just get the trailer hitch off. And yeah, we'll install some garage points. We'll grab a garage trailer, which is, you know sexy as all get out and i think the way we needed to go was along the shoreline which looks like right down there yes uh yep that looks like the way we need to go okay digby fire it up get your hands on the right controls and now adjust your volume so you actually don't go deaf trying to drive this bloody thing and let's get her into gear oops and let's head out Now, hopefully we don't get stuck on this first stupid log down here. Yeah, I probably ought to, like, come off the throttle a little bit, too, here, so I don't end up driving straight into those rocks. Okay, we're going to clear the log. We're going to clear the log. Oh, diff locks are on. Let's fix that. Yeah, we don't want diff locks until we get actually physically stuck. Or until it looks like we might get stuck, in which case, yeah, we'll hit them. I probably ought to gear down a little bit for this crossing. Nope. Get back on the uh, actual trail there, did we? Oh, that was no problem at all. Okay, well, I'm going to kill the diffs. And let's see if we can figure out where this watch point is.
Okay, I think we found the watch coin. Well, quick, turn the diffs off before you do damage. Yeah, that wasn't too hard to find. In fact, I think we can probably get it without even breaking stride. Five minutes later. Okay, definitely looks like we're gonna need to get by with a little help from our friends. So, let's just latch the end of this to that tree. Get to where we can see it again. And let's just give it a little bit of a boost. Right, gear up, let's get some speed going. Come on, baby, you can get out of this mud. Come on, baby, you can get out of the mud. All right, hold on, I'll gear down a little bit. Hopefully that'll get you going. Nope, still needs one more little bit of a boost. Alrighty, that's no big deal. We've winched before, we can winch again. Uh, well, that actually doesn't look like it's gonna work. Do we get anything off to the side here a little bit? Oh, you know what? That'll work from the back of the trailer. Well, not the trailer, but the truck. Well, nope, maybe it won't. Okay, well, sideways is better than nothing. After all, we do only need to get out of this ditch a little bit, so we can get back under our own steam. Okay, it's going to be stubborn. Fair enough. We'll just do it from here. Okay, haul me off a little more sideways. Hopefully we can get the wheels out of the mud. Not quite. Come on, baby, come on. And go. Wow, it really does not want to go anywhere. Okay, well, let's try and see if we got anything ahead of us. Maybe that'll help. I feel like we're stuck on a log, and if we can just get off of it, we'll be fine. Oop, a little bit of game lag there. Not a big deal. Okay, yeah, I think we're pretty much almost out of this, apart from the fact that we gotta get up there, over that stupid log. You know what, I'm gonna go for full momentum here, and let's try pulling us a little bit more forwards, and then once we start moving, hopefully we can just snap free and be underway. Okay, I think the trailer's actually stuck on something. Yeah, there must be a log or something back there that we got stuck on, and now the trailer is stuck on. I mean, fair enough. All we gotta do is get over it. <laughs> okay, no, we are absolutely mired. I think we're gonna be winching for a while. One hour later. Okay, there we go. That's more like it. Thank you very much.
Okay, now that we're over here where it's relatively flat, I think I actually overcooked the watch point, didn't I? Yes, Digby, yes you did. You missed the watch point by a mile. Okay, well, do we want to go back and get it now, and then come back for the trailer, or do we want to just keep going to the garage? Where's the garage? Oh, you know what? We're actually almost to the garage, so... Let's just get rid of that waypoint. Let's go to the garage now. And then... Whoop, that's, what, four? <laughs> yeah, then we will actually worry about the watch point after. Right there. Okay. Oops, no. The clock's off. The clock's on, please. I need to keep them on at least somewhat so they don't think keep me going in this mud. Right, come on, baby. Up over the hill. Up over the hill. We're almost there. Okay, I feel like I'm hearing something scraping, but I'm not. It's got to be just that stupid trailer going through the water. Is that actually on? It is. It's not even on rubber. It's on friggin' railroad car wheels. Well, never mind. We made it. That's all that matters. And unload, please. Unload you. That will give me all my uh, repair points I need, my fuel stuff back. Now, let's get turned around and see if we can figure out where we went wrong finding that watch point. Okay, now I wonder... Hold on one second. Let's look at the map again. Yeah, the watch point's up here. And it looks like and there's some land and stuff up there, but the direction we're pointing is actually pretty close to where we want to go. Haha, <laughs> didn't do it that time. Yeah, it looks like it might be down that way. So how about we just get some... Uh, like a utility trailer. No, not a utility trailer. I want like a utility cart. Is that an option? No, I don't want a utility semi-trailer. Not the garage cart. Not you. Ugh, okay, hold on. What do we got garage parts? What's that gonna add? Two garage points. Okay, log carriage, log car, hitch, short log trailer. Is fuel an option? Because a fuel tank would be really nice. No? Okay. Do we have a box? Can I at least have a box? Okay, we'll put the box on just so we can have a little bit of extra weight over the wheels. And then, yeah, I think we're going to head this way and see if we can find that watch point. It's got to be out here somewhere. Okay, so it's 60 meters that way. I'm gonna have to go out in the woods to get it? No, now it says it's 41 meters this way. What the? Oh! <laughs> okay, Digby, you're just an idiot. It's fine. Let's go over here and get that one. I think we're probably gonna have to do a three-point turn, though, to get back on the road. However, no, don't worry about the freaking diffs. Okay, we get it, we got it. Now, let's just get turned back around again and figure out what we need to do next. Uh, okay, we're parked. Now, what do we need to do? We need to go back to the garage and then out behind the garage somewhere is the next watch point. Whoops. <laughs> Okay, we are back. Now, let's see if we can figure out where we need to go. Yes, I know, diff locks. Where we need to go, I was saying, to actually get the next watch point. It looks like there might be a little bit of a road out there. Oh, yep, there it is. It's out in the woods. Okay, well, hopefully this little road that I'm looking at goes past it. Um, can we not get stuck in the actual, like, garage yard, please? I mean, you just drove here through the swamp of despair. You really shouldn't have any trouble getting through this. 
Come on, trucker. Come on. Come on. Let's go. There we are. Okay, we're free. We're out. We're on an actual road. Ish. A road ish. Oh, yeah, that's. Oh, okay, dips. I know. Stop honking at me. Yeah, that's out in the trees, so we're going to have to actually be. Oh, wait a minute. I think we can actually go around over here. I was going to say, we're going to be pretty delicate threading that needle, but nope. There is another road that goes right to it. And all we got to do is duck in here, and we should be able to get it. Just like that. Okay, one more look at the map. Where are we? We are here. Now, I think all we have left... Yeah, we've just got our watch point left, and then we've got to deliver... Eight points to here, eight points to here. Is that it, really? Okay, I thought the island was actually a bit more complicated than that. I mean, we got block posts, but I'm not worried about that. So we're going to have to go back. Uh, yeah, once we deliver to the lumber mill, we should be good to go as far as just getting that watch point while we're right there. Oh, yeah, okay, there's a lumber mill right there, too. So I'm thinking the smart move might be where we're, like, the garage goes pretty much back to the block post anyway. Maybe we ought to go up to this garage, then we can go over there and load up with logs, and run them back here to this lumber mill and just deliver that one and get it over with. After which, we can go back to that garage, or we can go back and get wood here, and then we can head down here and just do that delivery. All right, well, I tell you what, I'm going to head back to our original starting garage, and then we can figure it out from there. go okay we are out we are parked well we're not parked yet because we technically need to turn around and face the other direction so let's see if we can do this with just a like a three-point turn and not have to Austin Powers this thing for the next 45 minutes many many minutes later okay well technically that was a five-point turn but I'm parked and I'm pointed in the direction I want to be pointed in now, one more look at the map, because I need to know where there's a fuel kiosk. I thought there was one over here somewhere. Oh, it's going to be down by that other bloody garage, isn't it? Yes. Uh, okay, well, I wonder if maybe we might be better off just trying to do this lumber mill first, so we can fuel up. Actually, if we can just get logs from there and back to here, we can fuel up here anyway. Yeah, that'll be fine, I think. Okay, now, we are going to need, for this little trip, we're going to need a crane of some description. Okay, that's utility trail, utility trail hitch, no, short log trailer would be nice. Alright, with that, medium log trailer. I technically want a long log cart, which means I need a long log hitch. This isn't going to do me any good at all if I can't find a crane. Oh, please tell me this truck comes with a crane. Oh, no. Oh, you know what this means, don't you? I'm going to have to actually go. Hold on one second. I can't remember where we found it. Yeah, there was like a C-255 right there. Actually, there's another one right there in town. Yeah, I'm going to have to unlock one of those, drive it back here, hook a crane up to it, and then drive it back to that log kiosk just so I can load logs onto my truck. Ah, crap. Okay, well, I know that's not, like, completely in the spirit of the challenge. However, there's not a lot I can do when I can't actually pick logs up with this truck. So, yeah, needs must when the devil drives. I mean, I hate to do it, but I have to do it if I want to actually complete this map with this truck. So, I will actually take care of that off-camera, and then, yeah, next episode we'll come back and we'll start humping some logs around. And on that optimistic note, as always, I have been Digby. I thank you guys for stopping by. I really hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Mud Runner. And, yeah, I hope to see you in the next one. Yeah.